Um, I'm unsure as to what the hell is going on with the hair, but um, I've got to work with it. You know, since I cut it, I thought I'd actually mastered styling it, but today, I don't know, maybe it was just because I'd washed it this morning. It just wasn't wasn't happening for me, and I'm thinking I should probably clip a little bit back somehow, just in some way, because I can't be dealing with this while I'm trying to drive a vehicle. Um, what time is it? 10 to 2. I have a driving lesson at 2.45. It's my last proper driving lesson before the test. The test is tomorrow. Um, my instructor's going to pick me up a little under an hour before the test starts, so I have a little bit of practice before, but to be honest, I just want it over and done with now. I just really can't be dealing with it anymore. I'm really quite over the whole driving thing, so hopefully I pass just for that reason, because I can't afford to carry on, and I'm really, I've had enough, so please don't fail me if you're watching examine a person. How funny. I wonder if that's ever happened to someone where who makes YouTube videos if they have an examiner who knows who they are. That would be awkward. But, yeah. I probably won't give you much good content until I have taken my test and can breathe again. But, this week is kind of kind of crazy. Oh, yesterday was my only day where I don't have to go out anywhere, which is, I like to have many days like that in a week so I can just breathe. But today, obviously driving lesson. Tomorrow I've got my test and then my test is at five past two and they last about 40 minutes. So let's say I get out at like three. I then have to leave for work at half four. So if I do fail, and that's a strong if, because I'm actually going into it thinking I'm going to fail, because then it, you're setting yourself up for disappointment, which to me is good, because then I won't be too disappointed when I fail. But yeah, that only gives me like an hour and a half to come home, process, and possibly cry before I have to go to work, and loads of people know that my test is tomorrow as well, even though I tried my best to keep it a secret, but nosy people just kept asking me, so... Pretty much everyone knows now, which isn't how I wanted to play this, but everyone bloody well knows. So, yeah, hopefully it all works out. And then Thursday I'm going out with my friend, and then Friday I'm going to work. And then that is my week. I just can't do and there's only going to be an extra video this week which is obviously last week for you when you watch this there's only going to be an extra video if I pass my test because I haven't got anything else I can put up other than the vlog that I've been doing for the past year that will go up probably Friday because I can't probably won't be able to get it up by Thursday but yeah that will go up on Friday if I do pass if I don't pass then there's not going to be an extra video and I have this really weird spot lump thing in my hand and it kind of hurts I'm not sure what that is but great <sighs> right I think I'm gonna go and practice a little more on the old show me tell me questions which have been ruining my life for the past couple days and then um yeah, that's that. I can't wait to dye my hair again. It needs another lift of bleach. And then I'll do my roots as well. But I've been holding off doing it in case it goes wrong. So I'm probably going to do it next week, but I don't know yet. Anyway, I'm going to go and feel like I'm going to throw up. I've uh, just got back from my driving lesson 
and I feel quite underprepared for tomorrow I suppose just feel very very anxious but yeah I think what I'm gonna do this evening is just do a little bit more revision for tomorrow maybe have a bath I haven't had a bath in like two weeks because I haven't had a bath since I got my tattoo so I'd really like a bath because it's pretty much healed up now I'm still cleaning it I went from cleaning it three times a day to I'm just cleaning it twice a day now um, but it's probably all healed up now and doesn't need it but yeah I think I'll have a bath I just won't soak it for too long I'll make sure my arms kept up just then dinner a bit of telly early night I'm ready for the big day tomorrow She's going to pick me up at about between 20 past and half past one and my test is at five past two so yeah you're not really going to get much out of me until I've had the test and I can actually breathe so I don't think I'll vlog anymore this evening because I just uh, feel like my head might explode so yeah okay I just thought I would say hello and goodbye my instructor is going to be here in about half an hour so I'm just going to chill out for a bit I feel really like unwell, like really sick and all my jeans are way too tight so they're just pressing on my stomach which doesn't help at all and I'm really hot and I just can't really be dealing with this situation to be honest with you so yeah that's that I'll speak to you guys when I return from my test, I've got to make sure I clean my glasses before I go because it would be really annoying if I failed the eyesight test and then just couldn't take the test. Guys, I only went and fucking passed the test. Oh my god. What was that? I don't know. I'm, I'm so, so happy. So, so, so happy. I won't talk about it too much in this video because I have already vlogged something else for the other video. But yeah, just know I've never been more proud of myself for anything in my life ever. I'm absolutely thrilled to bloody pieces right now. And I'm so thirsty. <sighs> my cousin had her baby as well. She had her baby. My mum texted me to let me know literally two, literally two minutes before I left to have my little session with my instructor. Because today's generation love to put things on Facebook, I'm just going to see if she's put anything on there. I'm so excited. I can't wait to meet her little baby. No, she hasn't put anything on in five hours, but that was good because I was worrying that I was going to be stressing about that on my test, stressing for her. Um, but yeah, now I have got just under an hour and a half before work time and i got to have a shower because I've already had a bath today, but now I've got to have a shower because I sweat a lot when I drive. It's very, very emotional. <laughs> but... I'm so proud of me. Dun, 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 dun. You're never going to see me in a better mood than this because I'm usually a bit like, ugh, ugh. So you're never going to see me any happier than this because this is peak. <laughs> this is like top happy for Hannah. It's not every day you have a little dance on the vlog, especially when you can't dance. Do you know it's really unfortunate that I can't dance because I'm, I'm like trained in ballet. And I did tap and I did jazz. I say trained, I mean like I took lessons. <laughs> I'm trained in ballet, don't you know? But um, yeah, but I'm, I've always been like, I could never like groove in the club or anything. I was always a bit cringy. That's why I hate clubbing. Pubs over clubs. How did we get here? How did we go from talking about driving to getting drunk? I don't even know. Anyway, guys, I'm going to continue looking for people in my contact list that I can text. <laughs> Cause I'm so happy, happy. <sighs> I don't have a social life anymore. I'd never have to go out again other than for work because I said to my instructor, I said like, you're my only like stable thing in my routine. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, I'm freaking out. I'm gonna get ready for work and then 
wait for my mum to come home and just be like, Mummy, Mummy, I have something to tell you. <laughs> I feel like I've just had lots of E numbers inserted into me. That sounds wrong. I'm gonna go now. Bye bye. Hello, hello, hello. I was just trying to remember if I vlogged this morning. Um, uh, I don't think I did. So it's about half three now, I think. And I've just got home. I've just been out with my friend from my old job my hair is so uneven really dodgy haircut i gave myself um 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 what's it gonna say yeah just got home um just mooching around the town and stuff really i did get two things in charity shops i got this calvin klein cardigan jacket thing in sue rider was it in Sea Rider? Yeah, it's really nice and soft and just cosy. That was six pounds. And then some random charity shop. I got this Zara top. What was it? Hospices of Hope. Um, I got this Zara top for four pound fifty. It's just a white V-neck with the cool sleeves, and then it does up on the side like that. I might wear this to my cousin's 18th birthday in a couple of weeks because I, I feel like it's the sort of party that's like jeans and a nice top and kind of accessories sort of thing. It's not like a dresses party, I don't think. That's the kind of impression I'm getting anyway. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the classic jeans and a nice top and maybe some heeled boots or something. I think that's what I'm going to do for that. So, yeah came home to a couple of uh, congratulatory cards for passing my test and a box of chocolates from my mum. So yeah, still, still hasn't really sunk in that I passed, but it feels pretty damn sweet. Pretty chuffed with myself. Um, now I'm going to just take off all my jewellery, put on my gin jams. This ring turns my finger green, but I love this ring, so I'm not going to not wear it. And yeah, I can't bother to take my makeup off yet. <laughs> That's how lazy I am. Unless I just get a makeup wipe. I suppose I could do that. Get my makeup wipe now and wash my face before bed. That sounds like a good enough plan to me. And yeah, and me and Mum are going to catch up on X Factor because we didn't watch this week's X Factor. This week has gone so quick. I can't believe tomorrow's Friday. Um, so yeah. Ah, oh, pure bliss. I feel kind of sleepy because I had a glass of wine with lunch and that always does make me feel a little sleepy. I also had a really rubbish night's sleep. I was like convinced that I would get a really good night's sleep because I've got nothing to worry about now, like I've no stress from driving, passed my tests and all that, but every time I like close my eyes, my brain was sort of like recapping my driving test. It was just kept going over and over it and I don't know why, it was really annoying. And I just couldn't sleep and I was just like up half the night tossing and turning, no idea why. So that was quite annoying. The only thing that can send me to sleep is watching Sims videos. So that's generally what I do but it doesn't always work. Wow, this is some stubborn mascara to get off. Right, I think I'll just get some micellar water to finish that. Um, so yeah, I'll either chat to you guys tomorrow or just a little bit later. Because I'm going to go and watch X Factor and make my thumbnail for tonight's video. Because I did manage to edit that in time for tonight. And yeah, I think I'll wash my hair tomorrow morning. I can't really be bothered to do it tonight. Because I just feel really tired and just blah. Blah blah blah. 
has a really attractive look. I forgot to wear a, I usually wear a vest top under this top, but I forgot to wear one, so I was a little bit like exposed. It was kind of embarrassing. Today has been such a hard day to like get motivated to do stuff. Like you should have seen me trying to talk myself into getting ready for work. It was quite funny really. I was just like, come on, you can do it. Go on. Um, so yeah, I've got work, I've got to leave in about half an hour. And it just feels really annoying now whenever I'm gonna have to walk to work or walk anywhere, it's just gonna be really annoying because technically I could drive if I had the car. So I'm just going to get annoyed every time I have to walk anywhere. So, yeah. I have a really, like, tickly throat. Pretty much whenever I talk, it makes me want to cough and I have to, like, suppress it. So definitely making sure I take some water with me to work. And I'm really hungry, so I think I'm going to get some crisps to take as well. Um... Yeah, so today's just been a really slow, lazy day. Um, I felt quite, to be honest, I've, I've felt quite deflated since passing my driving test because it was like, of non-comparable to this, but sort of comparable when people say that they just feel like empty after they have their wedding because they like plan for it for ages. There's a hole in my jumper. So basically like because I done the learning to drive thing for like a year and it's now over and I just feel kind of like oh I don't know I can't really explain it but I just feel a bit like the air has been sucked out of me but I'm sure it's just a phase that will pass relatively soon I dropped my phone earlier and the bottom of my case fell off and I can't get it back on that's grand really really happy about that and uh yeah I'm also really tired I'm not sleeping very well I thought the reason I wasn't sleeping well was because I was worrying about my driving test but that is obviously over now so I don't know why I'm not sleeping I haven't really been sleeping well ever since me and dad finished Game of Thrones and I'm guessing that's because I was staying up late whereas now I'm going back to my normal bedtime of like half nine which is pretty early so um, from tomorrow because I have to get up early tomorrow so I don't want to be up too late I think I'll try staying up until like 11 o'clock again and see if that makes me sleep any better but if that doesn't work then I don't really know what it is that's making me not sleep well um, they didn't work for me last time but I might try some of my dad's melatonin that he brought back from America but I don't know You'd think, now I have nothing to stress about, that uh I'd be alright. I suppose I do have things to stress about still, but nothing as intense as the driving test. Oh, my tummy's rumbling. I'm really quite hungry. Just really tired. I just feel like, well, I might make a coffee in a uh, travel mug. I do that. Sounds like it could be a plan. <sighs> just gonna be asked. Um, I think I'm gonna dye my hair at the weekend. I'm gonna finally get it to the shade of blonde I so desire and do the roots. I hate doing the roots. Oh, roots are the worst, but yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do at the weekend. I think I'm gonna stop vlogging now because I don't really have anything important to uh bring. So, yeah, I'll probably speak to you guys over the weekend. can't imagine that I'd vlog when I get home tonight, really, if I'm still in this weird mood. So, yeah, I'll speak to you guys. Oh, the camera's moving. Hello. There we go. <laughs> I'll speak to you guys at the weekend. And stop.
balancing my camera on my knees. Goodbye. Good morning, it's 25 past 8. I don't really have a lot of time to chat because I've got to dash off to work. And then um, when I finish work, I'm going to hop on the bus, pop into town and get something for my cousin's new baby because I'm going to go see her tomorrow. I'm really excited. And I've got to pick up a couple of other bits as well, which is not fun because I'm so poor. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys properly when I get back because I've really got a rush to get to work. Goodbye. Oh my god, shopping, well, high streets on a Saturday. Anywhere on a Saturday, really, is not fun at all. It's so busy and just full of not very nice people. Oh my god. I'm so lucky. I got to leave work two hours earlier, so it's only... Where's my phone? Where's my phone? I don't know where my phone is. Oh shit. It's only 10 to 2. I would have been home well earlier. But my bus was 15 minutes late and then there was road work so it took longer. But um... I usually finish work at 1, but I finished at 11 today, so I was done by the time I was like would normally come home, so that was fortunate for me. Um, so, yeah. Got some bleach powder, because I've got three bottles of developer, but I didn't have any. I only have one sachet of, what are you doing? very windy so my hair's all over the place um right i got this really nice photo frame from debenhams just because it was on sale and i thought that's just something good to buy because it's so cheap and i can give it to someone as a present or whatever but i literally just picked it up because it was so cheap they've done a really good wrapping job on it though so it's going to take me a while to get into it so this was originally £14 and I got it for £4.20 and it's a nice duck egg colour with gold dots on it. I thought that was really nice, especially at £4.20. I got given a Debenhams gift card last Christmas and I haven't used it yet. So I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to use that to put... I've had something stuck in my throat all morning. I think it's a tiny little piece of pizza because I had a slice of pizza for breakfast but it's literally been in here since about 8 o'clock this morning and it's starting to feel like it's getting more stuck. Okay. <sighs> right. <clears throat> Baby stuff. So I got these little bib things that uh, one says little sister and the other one's just got love hearts on it. <clears throat> they were £5 from Blue Zoo in Debenhams, please excuse my voice. And then I got this baby grow. I've got this one in three to six months. She's weighed £8. She was only born a couple of days ago. I think it was eight pounds two she weighed, but I thought I thought it's nice to get something she can wear now and something she can wear a little bit longer down the line. So this has just got a nice floral print on it, and then a bunny, and it's got little feet, and it's so cute. That was nine pounds. And then I got this baby grow, which is zero to nine months for a fourteen pound baby. So I was thinking to myself, well, I don't know how quickly babies grow because I don't know how long it will take her to gain six pounds and then she won't be able to fit in this. But this was um, eight pounds and it doesn't have little feet. So I thought even maybe when it gets a little bit tired so you wouldn't notice as much because there's no feet on there. But I don't really know a lot about babies. And this is just blue and white floral and says pretty like, pretty like mummy. And I just thought that was really cute. So 
that's why I've got the baby. I did kind of want to get her a little toy or something, but nothing that I could see anywhere really seemed appropriate for a newborn. And yeah, because I feel like everyone always buys clothes. It seems to be the go-to thing that people buy, and you probably end up having too many clothes, but ho ho. That's the bag I got because I was in Wilkinson's and I didn't have it in me to go to any more shops. I was just like, oh, I need to go home now. I've had enough. And this was the only baby bag they had. So I got that with matching paper. Um, and then, I can imagine when you're a kid and you get a new sibling and the new sibling gets loads of attention and loads of presents, I can imagine that you can get a little bit upset and left out. So I got my cousin's four year old, and just a tiny little thing, nothing really major. I just got her this little frozen lip gloss, um, key ring and two hair clips and a My Little Pony chocolate lollipop. So nothing special. My mum got her a colouring book as well. And then I got some Disney Princess wrapping paper as well to put that in. Just so she doesn't feel left out. And then for myself, even though I'm so skint, I had to treat myself to this bag because I kind of fell in love with it. It just looks like such a good every size everyday bag and I just couldn't not get it. This was £10 in Primark. And yeah, I'm gonna get rid of a different bag. Oh wow, this is the first time I bought something, a bag from Primark, where inside it doesn't say atmosphere, it actually says Primark. Amazing. Well, it doesn't open very far, I don't know if I'll like that, but yeah, this is just a really good sized everyday bag. So I had to get it. And then I got this splash of colour, temporary hair colour from Primark as well. This was £2.50. And this is Phoenix Silver. And they had like pink and lilac and stuff. And I just thought, I'm always into trying uh, new hair colours. And I'm actually going to be doing my hair later. So I thought that would be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's what I bought. <clears throat> oh, I don't know what to do with my hair though. Oh, I could do it. I'm not going to do it today actually, I'm going to do it tomorrow afternoon, yeah, that makes sense actually. So yeah, that's my little haul and someone bought me some cookies from work, at work yesterday, so that was nice and um, yeah, it's not very nice having this piece of pizza stuck in my throat. So, I'm just going to have a really... No one's here. I don't know what my sister's up to today, but she's not here. My dad's in Bournemouth. And my mum's at work, so... I'm on my own till whenever my sister decides to come home. So, I'm just going to... Uh, chillax, I think cry about the fact I've got no money because I really have got no money. I've got no idea how I'm going to cope in Liverpool which is like four weeks away. How am I going to make enough money in the next four weeks for Liverpool? I'm probably not. Oh well. I, should, I could take out a loan. I'm not going to do that. <sighs> right. Get up my gym jams on. I love this jumper. I'm so happy it's jumper weather again. Makes me so happy. Hi guys, I'm hard really expecting my camera to die because the battery's flashing. <coughs> um I don't usually vlog on a Sunday that often, so you're welcome. I just filmed a video and before that I was at my cousin's house meeting her new little puppy oh my god this baby is so cute you know when like everyone 
wants to have that perfect baby that like never cries and sleeps and stuff like through the night like this is that baby like she is just perfect oh my god i got to feed her as well with a little bottle oh my god i couldn't cope how cute she was just couldn't do it so i'm on the hunt for a a sperm donor and i'm gonna have a baby <laughs> no but seriously oh my god i love babies i she was put down on the sofa and just laying down and i was just like i genuinely could just look at babies all day long and not get bored like i just put my head down like on the sofa and i was like oh my god you're so cute so yeah babies are amazing i love them my voice is going a little bit croaky which is you know real fun wow there are some grey clouds out there um i'm gonna do something horrendous now and try and do my roots my routage i'm gonna do the roots today and then if they need to go over again i'm hoping they don't but if they do i'll do that tomorrow but i'm just gonna go blonder as well in the bits that need to go blonder and i'm gonna cover my head in coconut oil because i've had a lot of people say put coconut oil on your hair before you bleach it so i'm gonna try that little method but um god guys i can't even begin to explain how much i hate doing my roots there is a long list of things i'd rather do than do my roots starting with like cleaning a toilet i'd rather change a dirty nappy and i've never actually changed a nappy before but i'd rather change a dirty nappy I'd rather clean dog poo off my shoe. Why does everything involve like poo? But yeah, that's how much I hate doing my own roots. But got no funds to, you know, do it myself. To pay someone else to do it. So yeah. No fun. No fun whatsoever. But that's what I've got to do. So I'm going to do it. Ugh. I just can't stop thinking about that baby. Oh my god. Babies, babies. I just need my sister to have a baby. That would solve my broodiness for a while because it just would. I'm just saying. Right. Oh, I really could put this off for a really long time. I think I'm going to watch a couple of tutorials because I'm just always fascinated by how, how people do their own roots. It's really strange. Oh, do you know what? Actually, though, like, because the clock's changed this morning, it's going to get dark quite soon, actually. So I probably should do it now-ish before I lose light because it's nearly three o'clock and it'll probably it'll start getting dark about half four. I don't know. I'll quickly watch a couple of videos and then see how we go. So, I'll get back to you guys later. But, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'll actually vlog later because this isn't going to be a good situation because I'll have, like, probably, like, bright roots and then it, it will be a mess because it takes a couple of days to do overall. So, yeah. I don't know. I'll deal with it later. Bye-bye. I love winter but I hate it when it starts getting dark at five o'clock it's just not fun so I've done my roots they're like totally orange right now um that's just how my hair goes though so I'm gonna have to do more bleach tomorrow and I just thought I'd come on and end the vlog here I've got conditioner in my hair at the moment I'm just gonna leave that in for a while because if I'm gonna be bleaching it tomorrow it needs to be conditioned so yes I my camera died just as I was trying to end my vlog so here I am ending my vlog thank you guys for watching and I think I'm covering the microphone that was good and yeah I'll see you guys in my next vlog <laughs>